Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. If you'd like any of your Ramadan related questions answered this month, you can email us at questions at amau.org. وَأَقُولُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُ قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ The question we're going to be answering today is as follows. Is it permissible for a woman to take pills in order to prevent menses so she can fast the entire month of Ramadan? الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد My advice would be to the sister that she allows and she lets the way Allah created her be Allah تبارك وتعالى had created the women within every month to have a period of time in which they receive menstruation and they don't fast and they don't pray. This is a natural discourse that takes place in the life of generally every woman. And sisters shouldn't disrupt and uh, or interrupt, sorry, this uh, natural cause that Allah wa ta'ala has chosen for them. Uh, because these pills, without a doubt, they generally have side effects. And if it does have a side effect and it's going to cause you harm, then charan is not permissible for you to take. But if a woman does take it and she does use those pills, is her fasting valid? Naam, her fasting is valid. She doesn't have to bring back that fasting um, and it's valid her fasting. And if she didn't fast and she let the menstruation happen, she will still get the reward. Because the Prophet ﷺ told us, إِذَا مَرِضَ الْعَبْدُ أَوْ سَافَرَ كُتِبَ لَهُ مِثْلُ مَا كَانَ يَعْمَلُ مُقِيمًا صَحِيحًا if a person becomes sick or he travels, the things that he used to do when he was healthy and when he was a resident will be given to him. And when you were a healthy person, you used to fast, right? And you used to pray and you used to do all of these good acts of obedience. Uh, and when you were a resident, you used to do these acts of obedience. Now that you're a traveler or you're sick, you've been prevented from these things. The reward is still written for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He's going to give you the reward for it. So the sister who's on her menstruation will get the reward. And also what sisters can do is that if they are on their menstruation, they can actually do an act which is to do dhikr, to remember Allah wa ta'ala. Because Nabiullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yadhukurullah fi kulli ahwalihi. He used to remember Allah in all of his situations. Salawatullahi wa sallam alayhi. So even if the sister is on her menstruation, and she wants to do the act of obedience, and she's prevented from fasting and praying and etc. What she can do is that she can go into uh, dhikr and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when she's cooking, when she's cleaning, when she's feeding her children, when she's, she can do dhikr. And the same uh, applies with the one who isn't on her menstruation. She should also try to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, a lot. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect, is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.